Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike. Cheers. Today's devotion, our object of trust. Psalm 91, 1 and 2. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say, um, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him I will trust. In Western culture, men are taught from the time they are infants that they should develop and put their trust in their own abilities and strengths. Most of us may not think of it in these exact words. But deep down, we believe it's up to us to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. It's fine to have a measure of self-confidence, but we should always remember that there is only one in whom we should feel 100% confident, our Father in Heaven. Others may fail us sometimes, but God will not. We can, we can fail ourselves, but we never have to worry about God letting us down. The Bible is filled with promises about the results of trusting fully in God, of being fully reliant on Him to get us through every life situation. That includes today's encouragement to abide or stay under the shadow of the Almighty, where we receive protection, comfort, and encouragement. Where do you place your trust at all times, especially when you face a life crisis? Jesus, I've learned that relying first on myself is the first step toward burnout and ultimate failure. May I always place my trust first in your power and strength and not in my own abilities. Amen. Now, it is good to be self-confident, but it is not good to be overly self-confident. Competence can lead us to do great things, but if we are overly competent, that's where pride comes in. And pride is the one sin that if you scratch the surface of any sin, pride is always in the center. But when we become overly competent, we think, no, nah, I got this, I got this. I don't, I don't need a higher power to lead me. But that's where we're wrong. See, when we're overly competent, that's when we put God back on the shelf instead of letting him lead us. And the thing with putting God on the shelf is he will only put up with that for a certain time. There will be a time when it'll be too late to ask him off the shelf again to lead. So don't let your confidence... Become your God. I know competence is a good thing. It has led us to do so many great things in this world. But I also know overcompetence has led to many evil things happening due to the pride that it produces, which leads to other sins too. We I mean, just open a history book. And you'll see that everybody, every evil man throughout history was overly competent and very much pride-filled. And I don't think I need to name names. I mean, all we got to do is look at World War II and you know which one I'm referring to right there. But... But competence, God wants us to be competent, but he wants us to also be humble. 
He wants us to look at him and to involve him in our lives. Everything, even if we, even if it's just the simplest task, like something we can do on our own, like running the trash out or doing our dishes or just going to check the mail or something. God wants to be a part of that. He wants to be a part of all of your life. Not just the bad stuff, but the good stuff too. The simple things, the little things, the little nuisance chores we do daily. God wants to be a part of that. You just got to ask yourself this one question because only you can answer this one as an individual. Are you willing to let God completely in and walk with you daily, even at the simplest of tasks? Or are you just going to call on him whenever things get really bad? Or even then, are you still going to refuse to call on him? The choice is yours because he gave us free will. But I hope you all make the right choice because this world truly needs God. And he truly does want to be a part of your life. While he doesn't need us, we need him. He wants to be a part of all of our lives. He wants us to come and become his children. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. Much love.